It's getting cold out there. Some warm food to warm the soul. That's what I need. Have any of you guys eaten your chili yet? Is it too early in the year for you? Oh, I broke it. I was trying to I was trying to get a cool scoop. <laughs> mm. Does taste good. appreciate the ongoing support. You guys kill it every time. Sorry, I'm really hungry. Um, I didn't really eat lunch today at work. They put out this, uh, you basket but it's got like bananas apples uh, a loaf of bread with peanut butter and jelly in there so like if you want to make yourself a sandwich on break and you don't have money to buy food you're able to at least eat something uh, I'm not too prideful to make a pb and j at work I did today and I put the bread in the toaster so the peanut butter was really creamy and runny so I don't know why people are too proud of handouts. I mean, if it's something like a personal goal or something that you set out to try to do, I get it you don't want to look back on your accomplishment and be like, oh, have this person tell you uh, you wouldn't be there if it wasn't for me or something wild like that. I've heard that so many times. And you know, nowadays you can pay to have views on your YouTube channel, which I'm just now finding out like the three months ago. And I was just sitting back thinking, I'm like, why on earth would somebody want to pay to get views? Are those organic people? Like, how does that work? So for me, my channel, our channel, I did this by myself. I didn't need a handout. I didn't need any help. I didn't pay to play. I have somebody like, you know, put a hundred thousand bots to come watch my stuff. Like, that's why I'm not worried about the subscriber count. Like, you know, full transparency, I was worried about it when it got to a thousand because I knew that I could get monetization. But that wasn't the reason why I started the channel. I just know that that's a bonus and it's something that is really trying to help me out because I don't want to work where I'm working right now forever. I want to make YouTube videos, do photography and videography on the side, enjoy my family, enjoy you guys, and that's it. But it is what it is right now. why 
guys, seriously, you guys matter because every view counts. Every time that an ad plays, it counts. And there, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that, like, keep the whole money thing out of, like, between them and the subscriber. But, dude, you guys subscribe to me. The least that I can do is be truthful, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, of course I want to make money on my YouTube channel if I'm dedicating time and effort to it. But that's not the whole reason why I'm doing it. And then I was thinking, I'm like, you know... I have 1,400 subscribers. If each one of you guys sent me a dollar, I would have enough money to pay my rent for two months and just straight grind on videos. I was like, but that's where, like, the intrusive thoughts and shit and, oh, stuff, sorry. You know, like, your brain, it thinks a thousand different things at one time. And I, I really don't know where I was going. All I want to say is thank you, and if you can, excuse me, if you can, and you have time, watch every video you can. <laughs> so, uh, coming up, news. I'm going to do this family. guys have to excuse me. I am highly childish. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to shoot. No, I'm not going to shoot a family. I am going to take pictures and do a photo shoot. <laughs> There's the word I was looking for. Of uh, one of my friend's friend's family. Um, it's supposed to be on the 26th of November. So I guess next Saturday. Charging her two hundred dollars because your boy has to get paid. You know, I am doing a service, but I'm not gonna break your legs over it. And she's a photographer as well, so you know we were going back and forth with pricing and stuff. Me being transparent with money. See, it's not that hard. I'm at eighty-seven dollars right now on my YouTube threshold. I have to make at least a hundred in order to get paid by them. And they'll usually pay me like I think the twenty-fourth of every month. So if we can get to that hundred dollar threshold, I'm gonna try to use some of that money for uh I wanna get a green screen. I wanna get a green screen behind me so we can do different scenes and stuff and maybe I can even get into role play. Uh, because believe it or not, um, I am a musical drama theater advocate for sure. Um, I like doing that type of stuff. I think my uncle got me into it when I was really young because I wanted to kind of follow in his footsteps, my, my mom's brother. Um, he's not a famous actor or anything, but he is an actor. He's played in stuff like uh, The Patriot. I don't know if you've heard of that. Uh, Iron Man 3. Uh, he's done commercials for people. Voice over work. But his voice over work was really what turned me on. Because <clears throat> when he lived in Atlanta, he had a three-story house and a basement. So I guess four. But in the basement, it was a completely soundproofed room kind of like the sound panels I got right there but you couldn't see anything except those and it was double layered and then in the middle of that he had this like fiberglass box that he went into that was also soundproofed <laughs> it was crazy and he was doing voiceover commercials for Aston Martin and he had he had the script so he gave me and my younger brother Andrew a script apiece and he let us record our own voice commercial for Aston Martin. It was really cool. It was a really cool experience now that I think about it. But if I had to pinpoint my love and affection for entertainment and video, audio, stuff like that, I would have to give him all the credit for sure. Brilliant man. He's just 
joy to be around. I tell you his name, but we got some real good internet sleuths out there, so I'm sure you can figure out me and then my location and all this stuff. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Maybe it's the beans. But I'm not gonna lie, I've been I've been kinda suffering. I've been kind of having to live hard, you know. Uh, with her in the house we had the two incomes, so we we were always helping each other out with stuff. And, you know, when she left, it was like I still had all the bills, so I've really, uh, I haven't really been able to eat that much, if we're being honest. I mean, it, it'll be like a ramen soup, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or a turkey sandwich or something, and then like maybe a bowl of cereal at nighttime, you know, uh, I'm not trying to bring the mood down or anything, but it is what it is. You know, I haven't really had that much money, and, uh, which sucks because I've been trying to pay down my credit. Uh, I got two companies that I do, like I pay for, you know, loans or whatever. Um, and the whole reason why I started that was to increase my credit. Because, of course, in school, they don't teach you about that type of important stuff until you find out when you're in your 30s and already in debt and you didn't even realize. <laughs> but anyway, um, credit score is doing good. It's sitting at like a 650, which it's not bad. It's not where I want it to be, but it's definitely better than it was. Um... But I was doing that in the hopes of eventually, when those are all paid off, getting one big lump and trying to get a house. So, I paid off one company already. I just have this next one. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna have a huge den that's gonna be soundproofed all that it's gotta be like dedicated to making videos in that room I want to have on one side like a table if I do top down videos of like unboxings and stuff I think it could be really cool anyway that'd be my dream that'd be my dream mom all right
I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. So long to you, my friend. Bye, guys. <laughs>